Hey, what's up to all my door dashers out there? Um, so I'm starting to slowly see a trickle in of uh, videos where DoorDash drivers are being totally, you know, truthfully and honest, honest about the uh, these about DoorDash. And um, I know a lot in the comment section, a lot of people are going to shoot the messenger, but a lot of people are telling the truth. So um, one thing I want to talk about here in Colorado, if you plan on, um, you know, dashing during the, well, it's already winter, but you're planning on dashing, you know, out here when it's, you know, kind of treacherous on the road, you got to think about that. Um, I just, I didn't do any dashing tonight. I was busy at work, um, and and I'm also you know looking at looking at getting you know some other jobs, so I won't even have to consider doing DoorDash. But um, the sidewalks and different areas were you know covered with ice, so uh, even people out there that are now dashing around, you may go to a you know late night delivery and end up falling and getting hurt. And I don't wish that upon anybody, but you got to think about that. So um, I really don't feel like DoorDash is going to compensate anybody enough for the amount that they have to go through. Um, I know everyone is in different areas, so you've probably, you know, mapped out your, you know, your marketplace. You figure out, you know, where you're going to do your most business, uh, you know, how you're going to get the most tips or, or whatever. But... Um, I'm saying this to be honest, okay, you're dealing with people that are ordering fast food, okay? Um, everything of, you know, when you see companies, everything of, of value has a higher price to it, okay? Uh, I subscribe to Blue Apron uh, every month, and I pay about $50, okay? But it's a premium product. I don't, you know, I, it's not, I don't, you know, I don't really deal, like the, the UPS or FedEx or whoever drops it off, but I my user experience is, is pretty, you know, is, is 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 good. Okay, now with DoorDash, you know, depending, I, I'm hearing you know different stories, and, and like I said, I'm not going to shoot the messenger. I'm going to listen to these people's stories and, and be like, okay, that's possible it could happen. So um, I heard another video. I believe the guy was out in Florida. Uh, he was saying that DoorDash is doing this thing now where they're doing the free deliveries. And of course you're not going to get free, you know. Of course you're not going to get any tips when someone's doing a free delivery, and also the caliber of people that you're having to interact with with, the, with these transactions when you're dealing with fast food, um, you know. And I and I don't want to insult any customers, but yeah, there's there's some good people out there that order order fast food, but also there's some people that that's you know they sustain off fast food, you know, every single day of their life. And, you know, and, and I've heard, you know, the horror stories I've just heard on YouTube. And like I said, I'm not shooting the messenger. I'm, I'm believing what these guys are saying. Um, you know, it doesn't make you feel good. It, it doesn't make, like, it wouldn't make me feel good, like, delivering, like, a bunch of uh, uh, McDonald's to kids that I know, like, their parents aren't cooking for them or taking care of them. Or, like, I've, I've heard these horror stories where the kid themselves... Is, is making the DoorDash order and, and you know, whatever. Or someone, I heard a driver say that uh, they saw a kid go in with the actual DoorDash card to buy, you know, and to pick up a delivery. Now, that's crazy. And that whoever's doing that, you know, very um, irresponsible parenting, whoever, you know, whatever's going on with that. But, um, and also out here on the road, if you hear me revving up my engine, um, you're dealing with people out here on these streets every day and I'm not even door dashing right now I'm just dealing with regular traffic but you're dealing with people every day out here on the on these streets and I don't know if you have the proper insurance to be covered if something happens to you while you're out here dashing or whatever but um you know it, it's it, it can be a mess so it's important for whatever job that you're working for you to get the adequate compensation now I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and watching videos and stuff I'm I'm really trying to develop another side hustle where I don't have to rely on, you know, different, you know, businesses or whatever that aren't really compensating me for my time and my money. And time is important. So a lot of us are going out here, we're doing this, we're doing the DoorDash thing, we think we're doing the right thing, but when we sit down and do the math, we're just like, okay, we're coming out short. And like I said, some people do have a target market, 
you know, they have a, a radius of where they want to do business in, you know, maybe, and, and, and depending on the area, you know, that you're living in, you may not deal with a bunch of low life people. The majority of people you may deal with in your area may be, you know, upstanding citizens, but other areas, like I said, and um, they're dealing with this customer, customer service stuff. You know, I, I've worked customer service, I can handle myself, but there are times definitely when the customer is wrong and then you take the hit for it and that's not necessarily right. Now, some companies I have worked for, I, I've been happy because management has, you know, st stuck, stuck with me sometimes when they know that I was trying to do my best. But when you're dealing with a company that really doesn't see your, your, you know, your character, your demeanor, your, you know, your face-to-face -face interactions, you know, they will, you know, they'll ding you, you know, and, 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 and even like all these drivers out here that are out on these videos that are cussing and, and, and telling the truth about what happens to DoorDash, you know, that someone may say, well, that's not very businesslike, but these guys are definitely telling the truth about some of their interactions with customers. Um, the truth, you know, and, and I've read various blogs on Reddit about, you know, trying to find uh, deliveries and complicated apartment complexes and and you calling the 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 customer and they're saying well I'm by the pool and there's like you know five or six different pools in the area and you know it's just or dealing with someone drunk on the late night or, or whatever so um, and I have a, you know if I'm gonna do DoorDash now I, I was just like man to avoid uh, you know some of that it's just like people have said with Uber is they're doing day they're doing day runs but if you've already if you're already occupied with uh, your regular your regular job during the day, you you know you're not going to do day runs. You're going to do you know you're going to do runs on you know when you're off. I bet you there's probably DoorDash people even now doing doing you know if they're trying to make that money, they're probably even trying to do it on their own lunch break. You know, depending on how how long your lunch break is and, and what area you're in. But um, you know, I'm I'm seeing a lot of you know newcomers coming on board, and, you know, and, and and making videos and saying stuff and. And on 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 you know different blogs and stuff and, and and Facebook, but I I just don't like that people are not a hundred percent honest with people with dealing with the negative side and dealing with the negative side. Uh, I say that the company, you know, but they're not going to do it. But they'd have to look at it as a whole. Is okay? How are we going to compensate um, these drivers for you know this these these th these issues that they're dealing with? And some of these issues are unavoidable. Um, I, what was I, I, I was just, but, but basically, you know, I've talked to, to various people and said, look, I said, you know, people, you know, when they're ordering, uh, cheap fast food, you know, they're not trying to pay you, you know, they're not, you're not going to be getting these whopping big tips. It's not going to happen. And, um, you know, I, I just, I don't know people, people out there are optimistic and, um, I say, you know, like I said, a strategy, you know, if you are, you know, doing deliveries in your immediate area and you're making good money and you're, you're trying to pay down credit card debt, okay, I'll, I'm all for that. But just be, at, you know, just be, you know, aware that, like I said, the, depending on, you know, coming in contact with, with some of these customers and, um, you know, then the whole thing about your ratings going down and stuff. I don't know, and, and people, I've seen YouTube videos posted about people that don't care about the rating, so maybe the rating system doesn't mean anything. Uh, my my completion level for deliveries is 100%, um, but I did get a ding, well, I did get a ding when I couldn't find, a, you know, this, uh, this, this, apartment, this apartment, and then also, too, is uh, I did notice my acceptance ratings going down when I was being more... Um, more strategic about you know who, where I was going to deliver to, but all in all, people, I, I say this is um, you better be looking for another side hustle because I don't know how long uh, this DoorDash thing is going to last. Um, I don't know, you know, and and hopefully, I don't know. Like it would be cool if the company was actually looking at these videos and taking this all this stuff into account, and you saw some major changes within the next couple of months or whatever but you know it takes it takes time for change to, to change anything i mean even if you're in a job even if you notice something's wrong with the system that uh you know you're you know you're working with it's it's very hard and very difficult to 
uh, to you know substitute to, to get change in there and, and, and get things things happening. But um, I'm gonna cut this short. Peace out.